essentially we created a new river channel down here and designed it so that the pike have the adequate depth they need for spawning this coming spring and future spring. If you build it, they will come. Northern pike, that is. We're only 2,000 feet from the Bay of Green Bay. It's right to our east. And this is where the fish will first reach when they start leaving the Bay of Green Bay. In a low water year, they may not be able to get any further inland to their natural spawning sites. In this particular site, we're going to end up with a little over two acres of good spawning cover. If all conditions were ideal, that could equate to 20,000 pike. This stream posed uh, challenges because it is a larger stream and it does have uh, fluctuating flows and it's flashy. If we got a big rain, we didn't want the fry to be flushed out of their habitat too soon. So an 18-inch concrete cover will be placed in here and as the waters rise, only a certain amount of water will be able to go through there and um, that'll that'll help us, you know, protect the fry and also provide flow during the you know, nurturing times when they're in that spawning marsh. Some of the restoration techniques that they've pioneered here on the west shore are being applied in other areas around the bay. Um, and also, I think they'll be helpful in other areas around the Great Lakes where they're looking at fish spawning. And those new techniques are paying off. What we are finding is that constructed, uh, rest restored and constructed areas are definitely been uh, the highest production of fry. Not only are there more fry, uh, the size is bigger, so that means they're probably going to have a better chance of uh, surviving when they get out to the bay. As you create these large uh, contiguous blocks of habitat, it, it's excellent not only for the pike, but also for a lot of the other waterfowl species and um, other critters that depend on these wetlands. Our specific focus is on providing habitat for wildlife, but by putting uh, habitat out there, um, that also provides a lot of uh, water quality benefits, helps clean up the water, um, you know, helps groundwater reabsorb back into the, the, the system. And so uh, there's a lot more environmental benefit than just the wildlife habitat that comes from these projects. What we're doing here is going to exist for a long time, I hope. Uh, we have contracts that guarantee that it's going to stay this way. Uh, and I think just knowing that something lasting can be put on the land, we're going to be producing something that's needed in the bay. We're going to be providing some recreation for people. And we're certainly, uh, certainly helping a lot of species besides just fish.